Good morning guys, welcome to Saturday, the biggest day of the week. Sam and I have to go get shavings for the horses and some uh, food stuff for the horses and a little bit of food stuff for us. And if you guys have not been following the Canadian news, it's illegal to leave your house. And the police now have the authority to come and stop our car. So Sam, are you ready? Are you ready to get a police escort to the, to the shaving store? Sure. All right, let's do it. Oh, the saddest thing, you guys. Penny Pickle be standing there with lots of food in front of her, staring at me. She's like, Laura, come and spend time with me. Oh, she just put her head down. She was staring at me, though. So by law, we are allowed to leave our house for food, for animal care, and for buying buying horse. animal stuff. Yeah, like we're allowed to take care of our horse, which we will be doing still, and we are allowed to buy food. And, that's and work. Hey, and work. Since we're a YouTuber. Yeah, we should we be allowed to go wherever go we want because We've the working. world is our work. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That won't fly. That won't fly. We're working right now. We're social media. Yeah, just like the we news are out there people. reporting people, reporting stuff. We should, we are, should be allowed to go out there and, and work too. But anyway, we're going out. We're getting the stuff. We're prepared for the police. So you've got my Lysol disinfecting stuff. I have to clean the car. I put my feet up here. I like to keep the car a little bit clean so if the police pull us over. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do while we, while we wait to see. Do you, what do you guys think? You think it's right that the police are able to pull us over? They have the right to ask us our address, where we're going, and if we refuse to tell them, which we're law-abiding citizens, um, then we're breaking the law. Yeah, if we don't tell them, then we're breaking the law. Also, what happened in the press conference? I have a really bad headache today, man. Not, not whining, just saying. Like if I look weird or like I'm tightening up, that's why. Also in the press conference, what they said was if your neighbor's having a party, you have a responsibility to report them. So yeah, now neighbors will be fighting with neighbors and this is, this is turning ugly, you guys, turning ugly. Uh, so before we get out there and we get our stuff and before we get pulled over, knock on wood, we don't get pulled over, I hate that. Um, I wanted to ask you guys, I always ask you guys to comment below what is your superpower? What is your drive with a coffee cup? I always ask you guys, what is your superpower? And today I want to ask you, what is your what is the opposite of a superpower? What's the opposite of a superpower, Sam? What is the opposite of a superpower? Opposite of yeah. a superpower. What's your worst thing? What is your toxic trait? Yeah, that's what it is. Toxic trait. All right, Sam, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna ask you. What is your toxic trait? A lot of people, I posted on Instagram, a lot of people are saying that they have the jealousy gene, which is a hard one. I know Sam's toxic trait. We should tell each other's toxic trait. Okay, Sam's, okay, well first you tell me what you think your, your toxic trait is. My toxic trait? Yeah. I tell the truth like it is. Yeah. That's toxic trait. Yeah, he doesn't do that very often because I have like, my arm on his shoulder being like, better be nice. <laughs> I tell you that like it is. That's, Even if you don't like it, that's the way it is. Okay, so he thinks that that's what his toxic trait, hit, trait, hit, trait is, but his actual toxic trait is that he's insanely shy, and not shy meaning insecure, shy meaning he's very introverted, that's the word that's I'm looking for. It is a toxic trait, because it's so uncomfortable sometimes. Like, you know how sometimes things get, get, Awkward, yeah, well, Sam, if you met him, awkward. Like, I can tell you the amount of times back when the world was normal and we'd be places and he'd meet a fan and he'd be with the girls by himself and he'd be like, uh, Laura's over there. <laughs> like, that's his toxic trait. He's an introvert, not that introvert is bad, but he, he, yeah, it leads to a whole bunch of other things. So what do you think my toxic trait is, Sam? You tell it like it is, Sam. You be honest. Come on. Like All right, tell it like it is. What's my toxic trait? Toxic trait. Come on. God, I have so many. Like, I have a lot of toxic traits. Am I a jealous person? You're too caring. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, that that's true. I get sucked in so easy. Sucked in, man. Like I love too easy, but that's not my toxic trait. My toxic trait is that I expect people to all be on the same 
wavelength. I expect people to all be kind. I expect people to all allow everyone to live their own experience in their own life and I do that. I honestly do that. I don't go out there and be like, oh, did you see the way she was carrying her baby? Oh, did you see the way she was brushing that horse? Oh my gosh. Like, I only see the beauty in everyone else's experience and that's not toxic. What's toxic is that when people don't afford other people the same thing, when I meet mean people, mm, I lose my mind. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to get under control and I've been so super successful the last while. You think I've been successful? I mean, we don't meet anybody right now because we're locked in, so yeah, that's why it's been so easy. <laughs> But I want to ask you guys, comment below, what is your toxic trait? It's in recognizing your toxic trait and admitting them that we can move forward and find a way to fix them. Okay, now let's get on with the video because man, we have a big video, an exciting video, and so much fun. This is our going to be our spring break special, amazing, happy, fun video, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. All right, so Sam is getting coffee, you guys. We made it to the coffee store with no arrest. We have not been arrested yet. Imagine the name of the vlog. We got arrested. The Day by Day family got arrested. The coffee shop. At the coffee shop. All right, so we're at the tax store. We're just um, planning our next move, you guys. Oh, I don't need this on. I'm in my car. All right, so I know this video is all in the car, but anyways. All right, so what we're doing today, well, I'm going to explain. Okay. All right, so I'm going to just show you guys what we got today, uh, and then we're going to go home, and then we're going to start the actual video, because this is going to be a crazy video today. So I, um, we got shavings, which is what we came for. I also got treats. It's all curbside pickup, so I messaged her and told her what I wanted, and she put them all out for me. We got new bags of Martin treats. You guys know that we love our Martin treats. And I also bought these um, apple horsey bits it's a big bucket I've never seen them sold this big before but I bought them because our horses like them and we're locked down like we're locked down for another month you guys we're not gonna be able to do anything so why not enjoy the heck out of our horses and I know our horses are gonna enjoy the heck out of these treats look at them oh I think it's only this one it's this one yeah <laughs> Apparently Molly made her nocturnal visits to all of our rooms. Tonight she's getting locked up. Actually, tonight we're doing something different. Well, she didn't go on my bed. She just annoyed me. All right, so... All right, all right. See you later. Bye. Bye. So these are super cool. They're super fresh, super amazing. They're apple flavor. Our horses don't like peppermint flavor. Apple flavor, super yummy. I can just imagine the things that we're going to be able to get our horses to do with these. Also, I won this for free at our tax store. It is a Bluetooth speaker. Next door is having a 30th anniversary special sale and I bought something. I was like the first hundred people or something to buy something and it sounds like me and I won this free speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker and it has horses on it so it's super cute. We are at the grocery store now and it's packed here. I'm like oh my gosh it's packed and Sam's like of course it's packed. They sell beer here and then we saw a guy, a young guy carrying out a case of beer. It's gonna be a fun party all by himself in this case of beer but you can buy plants and I actually need some plants tomatoes too early for plants every time I'm at the store and I'm buying like a lot of junk I always feel like I need to tell the cashier we're making a video we don't normally eat like this all right so I got everything I need for the video whoops everything I need for the video tonight. I literally have the best challenge, you guys. I've been planning it all week. But look at this. Obviously, the car beside us is a horse person or an animal person. Cart filled with shavings, just like ours. All right, we're home. Yeah, and I'm gonna show the girls what I got for our That's challenge. That's a giant. That's a giant pizza, I thought we'd have that. Right? Like now for lunch. Okay, so we're doing two different challenges. Wait, 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 wait. We're doing oh, two. Wait, so this is going to be a baking challenge that we're doing this week. Oh my god! And then I got all these candies that we're going to compete for for our challenge tonight. Are these in the candies? This is in the in the baking challenge. We have 
which is gonna be are fun. Uh, that's nope. Those are for the candy. Also got chips. Are these Gabby's favorite brand? Yeah. Oh, thank okay, goodness. Now I can try this, but uh, I just need a mixer thing. Yeah, I. Gabby wanted. Or Sophie wanted. Sophie was begging me for kiwi, so I got down some kiwi. Got kiwi. Look at all the candies I got, Gabby. I got Doritos. I love these, but you know what ones I'm gonna choose? What? These. Oh, you only get to choose them if you win. Like yeah, Gabby can if, steal them from you. But if I win, I'm gonna choose these. Okay, so we got all these candies, and and I'm gonna choose only a little bit of chocolate. That's what I want. Uh, also, oh my god, can I, can I have a beer right now? Really? Would you drink beer if I let you? No. Yeah, beer's gross. Can okay. I have this kind of beer? We got drinks. Can I have this kind of beer right now? No, these are for the challenge. If you guys want to win any of these treats, can I shake it? it's gonna be yeah, in the challenge. Keep it cold? Yeah, keep yeah it cold. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna set it all in the barn. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. Oh, these are also things that I got for the challenge. Oh, what game are you gonna play? Uh, Yahtzee. Oh, I hate Yahtzee. I love Yahtzee. Yahtzee's so I good for you. I hate Yahtzee. So I also picked up these and a couple other things. So you guys are seeing oh. this video before you see the challenge video. Like the fun video will be up tonight. Because it's a 24 hour video. Yeah, okay. and it's going to involve all these snacks. Plus if I have other snacks. This is our snack cupboard. Uh, and I do have some other snacks that I'm going to add to it. Turn all the snacks up, Mom. I'm going to organize them. No, we're going to take them down in the barn and organize them. I am them. organizing them right now. All right, go ahead. Organize them, Sophie. Organize Turn to your heart's the content. These are not for, this is like for a meat, like for something to eat one day. Oh, okay. So basically we have a 24 hour challenge coming your way tonight. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll be up around eight. They're a little bit harder to edit. So, but it'll be up tonight. So stay tuned and watch for it. It's going to be a, like a really good one. Probably the one I have the most planned and the most exciting ways to do it for. So stay tuned for that. And then in the next day or two, we're going to also have another challenge video that we're going to be doing. Spring is sprung and we're going to be locked in for another month and let me tell you, I am going to make things more fun, more adventurous and we can still go out because uh, we can go to green spaces like trails and nature things. So we'll be hopefully doing that with our horses as well. Okay guys, so this is how I set it up but I'm going to reset it up down at the barn and I think it looks pretty good. Wow, wow, you guys, look at Sam down there. He is fixing our fields, and I'm loving it. Oh, look, look at, okay, now watch what he's doing. See the difference? Our wires have always been kind of like droopy, and he bought something new today to help fix it. And I'm so impressed. So basically, in the past, our wires have always been droopy, and no matter what he does, he's never been able to get them tight, which we need them really tight. Look at those. He did it! I think we should throw the horses out there for like a 20 minutes. All right. Oh. Here's all the stuff. Oh, we're almost out of cat food. Okay, so we're down and we're just waiting for Gabby. Gabby is having a shower, just getting out of the shower. So we should expect her in what, I don't know, 30 minutes, do you think? Or like an hour. Okay. Okay, we're gonna see if the ponies like these. Uh oh, 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 wait for me. So. Um, so we have this bag of treats, this bucket of treats down at the barn, and now we have this bucket of treats down at the barn. But this one's really hard to open. So don't and open. what I think we're going to do is take the other bag of treats to the other barn for the other horses. When I bought the treats today, they're like, wow, that's a lot of treats. I'm like, yeah, we got a lot of horses. Whoever yeah, we have six. Whoever thought we would have six horses. Right. Whew, it's cold, but it's the last day that we can do it. We waited till the last day. So cold, I'm even closing the door. We're just gonna be warm pajamas and lots of blankets tonight. It is nine degrees in the barn. Mom's trying to get the pony to play. All right, let's see who wants a treat. Fatty Patty. Fatty Patty. She's not fat anymore. None of our horses are overly chubby anymore. You guys might not know. Wonder Pony. Wonder Pony. You guys might not know, but um, hey, hey. We actually uh, put them on a little bit of a diet and a Willow, hey, hey, you stop it. Hey, stop it, Willow, stop. <laughs> She's like, Willow, 
They actually listen. Willow. She knows her name. Honey. Willow. Hey, you stop it right now. <laughs> She's. Don't you do it. <laughs> stop. Oh, look at my girl be coming. Come on. I know it's muddy. We got a big surprise for you girls. Yeah, we do. Come here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I don't have a treat. <laughs> but what you're getting right now is going to be a treat. Yes. Ready? She knows. She knows. Yeah. She knows where she's going. Can't catch the pony. Can't catch the mini. I never can catch it. <laughs> Do you want me to catch it? Get one of those brown treats. Good girl. This is the first challenge of the day. Grab the mini. <laughs> Remember I show you guys that Penny is down here looking for me, asking for me, wanting me? It's always, oh, move, move Ruby. It's always for one reason. And the reason is that it's because I take her for grass and she knows that I take her to eat grass and she wants to go eat grass, you guys. Oh, she's already snorting. Oh, whoa, whoa. I need to open the door, whoa. She's already excited, I'm already excited. She has no idea where she's going. She's going to the field. Penny Pickle, you're going to the field with your friend. Chill, chill. It's because people were running behind her and that's her thing. That's her one bad behavior. So we're just gonna leave them in here for about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Time for them to eat some grass. Bye. Yeah, Gracie's got it going on. <laughs> Always gotta have fun. Oh, she's like, I'm going over there. <laughs> Yeah, move. Burn off all your calories. <laughs> Burn off all your calories. Look at our cute mini. All right, nothing fun happening here. <laughs> Let's go. All right. I'm in love with our fence now that Sam's tightened it all. All right, so there's that. All right. Goodbye, girlies. We'll see you in about 20 minutes, okay? That is it for this part of our spring break special video. We did two challenges and we're gonna and we're gonna show you the 24 hour video on a separate video, so stay tuned. Oh, no, I'm out, well. Because it will be up soon. You guys can come and spend 24 hours in our barn with all three of us and all of our dogs through the cold and the dark and the night and the scary. And, and the pooping dog. Yeah, and I have more games set aside for us to play. So okay. I hope you guys oh you'll see. It better not be freaking like games as in Games like cards or like board games because no. I'm a screamer. Can we make her bed now? I want to make my bed now. Yeah, so I, we're gonna set up our beds and we're gonna meet you guys back here for part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below if you got to choose from if you got to choose any treat in the whole entire world that you could. What would you choose? What would it be? What would your choice be? What would be your favorite choice for any treat in the whole world? Oreos, chocolate covered okay. Oreos. All right, it's time to bring the ponies in. They've been out here for already 20 minutes. And then we're gonna, make our bed. And then we're gonna yeah, we're, we're gonna make our beds for the 24 hour challenge video. All right, Molly's taking a pee. Gabby Source is running away. Uh oh. Always Gabby causing trouble. Uh oh, she's snorting. And Gracie is not coming. She's like, I have not had enough grass. Soon, you guys, this will be their field. Especially now that Sam fixed all the all the wires, all the poles. <laughs> uh oh. It's the
so different Kind of ignorant You don't care what people say, people say, people say I'm going crazy 